Oh, she does. But she still has all the instinctual behaviors and the intensity of a full-grown sheepdog. Now, I've got her on a line to make sure that nothing bad happens to her, that all of this is good experiences for a little dog. And she's showing all kinds of class, as we call it in style. She's got her head down, and she's eyeing up the sheep. And they're going, oh my goodness, another dog from so the train. Oh. And, oh, she goes, oh yeah, I'm still a puppy, after all. And then, I'm going to let her go for a second. And she, let's see what she can do. Again, remember, all of this pure instinct. She has literally zero training. She just turned 12 weeks old today. She's going, come on, girls, you better move. I'm telling you what to do. I'm telling you what to do. There's a little puppy. She's not quite sure, but she's going to, little puppy, they go, oh, there she is. She's going to try and catch the one she, oh, her little legs. Oh, her little legs. Lie down. Her little legs can't quite manage. I gotta help these sheep so they don't leave us. Come here, little Nina, you can do a real job. Come on, little Nina. Come on, little Nina. There we go. I showed her how to get the sheep between. She didn't even know that. How to go between the fence and the sheep. Oh, her little ears are on high alert. I've got the sheep. I'm the best little girly. Good girl. Now, Nina has a few little demonstrations here at the Royal Winter Fair. But, oh, oh, poof, she says, oh no, maybe that's fluff. She's, she is a puppy, attention span of a pea. Now, we won't actually start training little Nina until she's about nine or 10 months old. Because she has to be big enough, strong enough, and fast enough to catch up to the sheep, which you saw she can't quite do right now. Her legs are too small. Too short, really. There she goes. But she's, so, but we're introducing her in a nice way. She's liking the sheep. She isn't even worried about poop anymore, which is quite remarkable for a little thing her age. Good girl, Nina. 